How's it going? Yeah, I've kind of got the uh, SR2 motherboard here, and uh, it's going to be fitting the uh, uh, water cooling onto the system. And I've got one of these EK blocks, comes in the packaging. Louis threads in it, screw fittings in it. Yeah. But when you see it, you're, uh, you notice that, you know, how you're going to get them in, because the threads are different on the board. That's all it is, right? Is uh, you need a, a star tool. I got it. Okay, that fits in the face. Just unscrew this, this plate. Well, these these don't actually come out of this, of the uh, CPU socket. Uh, so you just undo them. Okay. Take them out and then put it on the desk in the same orientation as it comes off. Okay, right. And that's all that happens then is is uh, take your plate, check it, make sure that is a universal size. And basically, what you've got to do then is you've got to drive these out. And if you look, you'll see that there's um, this can be pressed out. It's a separate fitting. So I'm going to do that now and. Uh, I'll uh, show you what happens then. So basically, once you've pressed them out, then you're going to be able to install the heavier duty fittings into the into the back plate and then put the back plate back on again. So I'll drive them out and then uh, I'll show you what happens then, what, what they look like when they're driven out. Yeah, I'm going to going to drive these out a second. Just going to quickly show you. Just going to put them in the vice. That's all that's what I'm going to do is just going to give them a little gentle tap. Put them on a bit of paper and else they don't mark the plate. Do you know what I'm saying? Close the gap up a bit and just give them a. Give them a little, a little tap. They don't need much. Try to tap it centrally. Good. Just comes out then easy enough. And uh, not going to be using them parts. Just give them a little tap. Try to hit it centrally. You can feel it go then. She's gone. See, that's that's the uh, that's the fitting. It's just pressed in. <clears throat> Same again with this one. You could uh, probably get a piece of wood, drill an hole in it, a bit bigger than the thing, and and just put this onto a flat piece of wood and tap it through. Or whatever you do. Just want to make sure that you're not deforming the shape of the of the plate. Do you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> tap this one out, nice and gentle. Don't take much to come out, and uh, we're done. This is the board now with uh, one set of bolts on, and then we'll have to play about with it a little bit, probably just to get it so that the, the nuts are smack on. But uh, it's not too bad. It's going to go on top of the chip. Obviously, there's no chip here now at the moment, and then we've got our spring and our nailed top which will be applying pressure to evenly also making sure the orientation of the uh, EK is going to be on so when you pipe it all up you know, and uh, that's one of them nearly done so that's one uh, danger den build with the yes r2 gonna be uh, putting the water block onto the, uh, the chipset um, removing uh, EVGA's fan and uh, gonna be fitting this uh, this EK unit it's a beauty and yeah, be able to see the fluid in here so it's a nice bit of kit. Apparently, you've got to make sure you fit spaces onto the uh, uh, regular water cooling fittings, whatever you're going to use on it. So I make sure I do that. But it's 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 a beauty. It's absolutely fantastic. You can see that is that's just fantastic quality. But it is really really nicely made. I don't know what pressure these uh, fittings have been tested to. But uh, you can see now, it's just this 
there's plenty of uh, pressure application areas and it looks really really nicely made and uh, so I'll be filling you in and showing you this is the only separate part but that's just gonna look pretty neat anyway so yeah yeah as again yeah I'm taking all the uh, stock cooler screws out of this uh, SR2 case and uh, gonna be uh, fitting EK's water block on two part of this um, I'll pause it now and then when I've taken them all off yeah it's the cooler taken off so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning up now to get all the paste off and which is on the board I'm not worried about this piece at the moment yeah chips are all cleaned up and uh, ready to uh, apply uh, thermal compound and tape and uh, fit the block yeah, I put the, uh, the thermal tape on, making sure I observe the different thicknesses. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on the back of the plate where the, uh, the standoffs are going to sit, using the grease in, just to hold them in place like that, and I offer it up. Using this method, what you want to watch is so you don't get a lot of grease in the, in the stud hole, because otherwise you get a hydraulic lock. And when you try to get your screw in, if there's the grease in the bottom of the thread, it's not going to close in properly, then it could work its way loose. So make sure you don't fill the hole up with grease, just put it around the edge. There you are. The, uh, the blocks are fitted. Just got to fit them in the case now. And, uh, See what we can do about piping them up so that uh, spread the cooling, making sure that uh, each of the units um, the fluid flow is uh, is going to work nice, but also making sure that the the pipe work looks looks the business. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with that next. You might want to notice how tight some of these fittings are. <clears throat> so it's possible we might have to take some of these <clears throat> some of these bolts back out again in case we want to stick some elbows in and things like that to catch you uh, in the next one.